what up street talks, street vlogs, street vlogs, or came in the house. I'm gonna give you some advice. That is ASMR. ASMR. <laughs> okay, so uh some thoughts. This one is uh, how to get fit. Alright, so first and foremost, get some legs. My butt look good. Alright, so some uh, thoughts. So the first thought is I would say work out at least twice a day. <laughs> at least once a day. At least twice a day. Whatever you're into. Okay, so um a lot of people say, like, oh you're gonna overtrain. I'm like, nah. Um so I would say try to go to the gym at least once a day. Right? If you have the option, you're truly privileged. Work out once in the gym, once in a day, in the evening or in the morning, do some yogas, go to the score core power, whatever. Uh, that was a regimen I was doing with uh, my mom and Cindy for a bit, and uh, it actually worked out pretty good. Hey, JB! Um, and it was kind of a, a good regimen because um, I think more weightlifters should do yoga and more yogis should also weightlift. Um, thus, the kind of the, the strength X classes and the sculpt classes, etc. Um, the reason is, if you really, really want impressive muscular gains in terms of augmenting your muscle mass, uh, skeletal muscle, uh, I think lifting weights is the way. Like, there's no way I could have got my monster traps without rack pulling seven plates, right? Um, and also with, uh, you know, having the turbo thighs, um, getting the turbo thighs is best. I believe achieved from the atlas lift it's a uh, you don't have to squat down you just get under the weight see the maximum amount of weight you could hold on your shoulders and then the thing is call it lift because your knees are bent and then you press up so you're actually technically pressing the weight up and you're holding on your shoulders so you get a phenomenal you know upper trap back shoulder joint spine lower back abs uh, workout and also if you want to naturally boost your testosterone any and every leg exercises is critical I mean actually the thing that's interesting is if you also want to drive your upper body gains training your bo lower body every day seems uh, to be the way um, also with uh, lifting weights uh, my approach is towards this kind of like one rep max type of lifting and you don't have to go for any reps like like for example if I'm doing rack pulls um, put on a 45 pound plate do one rep slap on another plate do another rep slap on another plate do another rep slap on another plate do a mixed grip slap on another plate switch up the mixed grip slap on a plate and I'm going for the max and so you know warming up kind of like ramping up just the the simple theory the simple approach is just keep adding on a plate at each time or you could jump by like 25 intervals or 45 pound intervals doesn't really matter um when you're warming up you only have to you only have to do one repetition you don't have to go for multiple reps i think uh people say you do but then i've experimented and found that it's actually not super necessary um also typically before i lift weights to go to the gym i'll spend like i don't know maybe like 20 15 minutes like you know doing kind of yoga stretches uh you know pigeon pose you know bridge you know stretch on my hamstrings calves everything i try to learn every i try to do everything that i like could remember from yoga and you don't have to do it for that long it's like i could do a pigeon pose just once because like the the problem in yoga i think is they have you do the same circuit over and over again at least four or five ten times i'm like that's just not necessary so once again when you're warming up and stretching you just have to do a one repetition it's is uh totally fine um and then you know the shoulder dislocators with the broomstick stretch uh, also i do it with the battle ropes it's pretty good to get the juice flowing also i met a guy at the gym who could bench like 450 
over four plates on each side and he actually says he does a lot of the foam roller stuff so to get his advice i was like all right if you could do it uh, i'm gonna do it too so i started doing more foam rollers on my legs my back my shoulders etc i mean i don't know if it really helps but it certainly probably won't hurt i mean it feels good it's a game free massage and so i would say that's where all the functional fitness stuff is pretty good um my suggestion is <laughs> don't do crossfit don't do things like crossfit because um okay first foremost right look at the founder greg glassman like just go on google image i'm like has this dweeb ever even lifted weights in his life so my theory about greg glassman is um i think he's like interested and passionate about fitness but he's like one of these like sideline observers who study it like a nerd but has never lifted a weight in his life so it's kind of like rando people on the internet criticizing and critique or analyzing and trying to create a, a philosophy without actually being a practitioner like imagine if you know a virgin you know skinny fat dude on the internet imagine the world of warcraft character in the south park episode well he's not even skinny fat he's just he's just morbidly obese uh designing the optimal sexual performance strategies and sexual fitness theories and philosophizes without having ever had sex it's like nah nah bro like cannot do it um it's kind of like if a like a like a you know skinny nerd who's never lifted weights in their life or ever played football criticizes football players for not catching the ball or fumbling but i'm like if you have never played football you should not critique or criticize football players because you have no idea what's actually really like um so don't be a sideline commentator observer like greg glassman and also like at the end of the day he just kind of seems like a kind of like a kind of a a mediocre small man uh, so don't don't trust him because um, the problem with CrossFit is I think it's too focused on this like to suffer more and to tire yourself out or whatever is seen as more virtuous and also like I mean I don't know about you but for me uh, I don't like classes or class formats because it puts you inside a procrustean bed in which you just gotta follow what everyone else is doing. Cause sometimes, you know, you wanna go at your own pace and stuff like that. And my philosophy on why and how people get injured lifting weights is actually going for too many repetitions. So ironically enough, just going for single repetitions or one rep maxes, you know, slowly at your own pace is like a quadrillion times faster than trying to churn out like a hundred clean and jerks in like, you know 30 seconds and the problem is when you try to do it too fast or at a certain pace of others i think you actually let you you, uh, you lose concentration and focus so you cannot actually do the maximum power output um and also i mean simple ways to get fit i mean fit fitness it's a mostly via negativa as nasim taleb says which is means like what to cut out so simple thing I mean, I'll just spell it super easy. Stop smoking weed, stop drinking alcohol. Yes, even red wine is like, but it's got reserve of trauma. I'm like, bruh, red wine is just grape juice with a good conscience, right? That also is, is, is also alcoholic. Let us not forget that wine is fermented from grapes and grapes are sweet and sweet things make you fat. I'm sorry, guys. Oh yes, and yeah, Coke Zero also makes you fat too. Um, also natural monk fruit, zero sugar, zero calorie sweeteners. They all, they all make you fat too, so just quit all of it. The only thing you have to drink is black coffee, you know, espresso. Just go on Amazon, buy the freshly roasted coffee, the Ethiopian yogurt chefi. Comes in a huge five pound bag. What, like 50 bucks? Totally worth it. Um, or you get the Death Wish coffee. Just drink it as espresso or just pour over whatever. Drink it, um, drink it Jay-Z style black on black on blacks maybe backs on backs on backs no lead no creamer no sugar no no nonsense just drink water i'm like I see dudes at the gym drinking power raid and gatorade i'm like just drink water just drink plain water and it's free too right 
uh, coffee's like practically free at this point too. Or you can just go to Costco, just get the Kirkland cheap coffee and just uh, go ham on that. And yeah, just quit sugar, sweets, pastries, bread, pasta. Like, I propose for a 100% carnivore diet, Costco business center, beef ribs, go to the local halal market, get some uh, beef liver, cook it with cumin, it's pretty good. You can just Google or YouTube Air Kim liver recipe and you can see my my cookings or you could just go to get um old bay seasoning works it works good just eat it with mustard or tabasco is pretty good uh yeah beef ribs beef neck bone is a really good option too uh at costco business and they also have like a beef beef um top sirloin which is essentially picanha so you could just put on the cutting board slice it real thin and just cook it as a steak on the pan it's fine but still i think the the rib meats i still think are the best um yeah, beef, I, I still think beef is the best. Like, I tried pork ribs. Pork ribs are pretty good, but they're pretty flavorless and they're a lot smaller. And my, it's my theory that beef has actually higher nutritional density than pork. I mean, pork is a red meat. I say no, I say it's pink meat. Chicken's not meat. <laughs> you go to Brazil, it's like, I'm vegetarian. I don't eat meat, they oh, okay, okay, cool. And then they make you a pot of chicken soup, right? Uh, Actually, it's interesting because study carne, carnivore, carne, it means flesh, it means um, meat, it means like kind of, I think it's from like Germanic, Proto-Germanic, like dripping, oozing fat. Uh, and people say, oh, cholesterol is giving you a heart attack. Like, no, it's not. Uh, cholesterol is a natural steroid. Cholesterol is only present in animal products. And cholesterol is actually what boosts your testosterone. So the more cholesterol you eat, the higher your testosterone is. So if you eat, a, that's why, um, so question, out of all the food items out there, what has the most cholesterol? Liver. So the beef liver or lamb liver, whatever liver you're into. So think about like if you're an eagle or you're a wolf, kill your prey, what's the first thing you eat? You don't eat the, you don't eat the breast. You leave that for the, the vultures and the scavengers. You eat the liver, the innards, the heart, the gizzards, the intestines, and you just kind of leave the rest for the thing. So that's why organ meats are the highest in nutritional density. Even my mom told me in Korean, the word for liver is gan. And gan means like the most important part or something like that. So, I mean, I, I still need to do more research on this, but I think it's uh, it's kind of onto something. And I, I think, yeah, if you want to, you want to go demigod just eat at least a pound of beef litter a day just cook on the pan super duper good just get a local whole market even the local place here is only three dollars a pound i would say that after eating beef liver like eating a pound of it or two before i sleep wake up the next day feeling so much more powerful refreshed better mood etc um and yeah and uh, just 100 percent carnivore the only not meat item to eat just eat kimchi no sugar added just go to costco business center get the jonga brand which has no sugar added always read the ingredient list because koreans are often sneaky they often add uh sugar to everything um don't use fish sauce and stuff like that like even the three crabs blend the vietnamese people like has sugar added don't use sriracha has sugar added it's like yeah but if you look at in the ingredients this is less than a, like just just don't eat sugar it's very simple don't eat sugar don't eat starches don't eat fruit fruit is candy with a good conscience don't eat vegetables vegetables is just starch with a good conscience oh yeah, but you need fiber it's like no you don't i go i poop at least once a day right and uh yeah just just drink water and black coffee and boom you're good um and yeah and uh, at the gym uh don't do any sort of Stairmaster cardio. Don't do cardio. Cardio is, cardio is like the world's biggest scam. Um, lift heavy, reduce the range of motion, just go ham.